Hi folks, uh, today I'm going to demo how to mark up HTML uh, using the microdata formatting that's in HTML5. So search engines can do an intelligent uh, a, um, presentation of information about the thing you're talking about. In this case it's going to be a movie ET. And so you see up here the way this looks here in terms of the ratings, it's the uh, who starred in the film, the year it came out, um, and so forth. And over here in this area, which Google displays even more information about the most likely choice in your search, there's even more information. The Rotten Tomato score, the IMDb, um, release date, rating, screenplay awards, and so forth, and pictures of people in the cast. Uh, so let's get right to it. Um, so I'm going to pick out of the uh, 100 top movies of all time on Rotten Tomatoes. Uh, ET, the extraterrestrial. I'll go to that page. Okay, this page is what I'm going to draw my information from in order to build my HTML page to represent uh, this particular movie. So then, if I look over here, here I've opened the file that, that I gave you in the template for that you sort of mark up as a conventional HTML page. This is the first step to get the information from about that movie into this page. So I'm going to go back and forth and first copy the name of the movie. Go back to BB Edit. BB Edit is just a text editor. You can use any text editor. What you've been moving, using and so forth for the last assignment is fine as long as it worked properly. And then up here I've also got to put it in the title. So what you need to do is replace everything that's in brackets with the corresponding information from that page. Okay, so that then year released is the next piece. Go over here, 1982, cut, go back, and do that. Okay, uh, length, let's see, we go down over here, 1 hour 54 minutes. Now I'm not doing everything that can be covered by, uh, in the micro data format covered, covered, covered in schema.org, which you should have read about, because I just want, it'll take too much time and uh, just for the sake of brevity, I'm skipping a few things like the rating, for instance. But what else? But I'm going to get the major things. So under credits, we need the director. And the director, Steven Spielberg. So I'm just going to grab that. Put it there. I'll put it under here, director name. Here's a small table saying director and director name. So remember, I put what I'm replacing is what is in brackets. Written by Melissa Mathinson. So I'm going to go back and forth and do this until I'm done. Okay, so the rating, um, in this case, what we're using the rating system from uh, Rotten Tomatoes. There are other rating systems, but in this case we're using theirs. So here I see the rating. I'm going to use the reviewer's rating, not the audience. 71. Hmm, I'm surprised it's that low. I'm going to take 98%. So I go back here. And I put the value, the score, in this case, we're just going to say 98%. Okay. Now, the count is how many reviewers wrote, um, uh, did that. We can see here it's 97. So I'm going to put count 97. Okay. So now I'm going to put in the cast names for, for these, um, the major cast names here for the people in the film. So I scroll down here. And um, here they are. Henry Thomas was Elliot. So I'll just pause it now while I just copy those in. Um, so give me a moment here. I'm just going to put him in there. Okay, so let me just pause. Okay, so if Tim has put in five of the cast members, that's all you need. You don't need to do more than that. You could do less if it's a very small movie that you happen to pick. So, um, so now I'm going to do some description. So I'll go back to the page here. And let's see, well we have, here it is here, they have a description of more. Just pick out a couple of paragraphs. Now it's interesting that they don't have this broken into paragraphs, so I'm just going to have to kind of find some and kind of divide that. Go back to my text editor, description paragraph one. And you see now it's not wrapping in my edit text editor, so it becomes a long line. I'll just do two paragraphs for now. And we'll just stop right there. OK, 
can't put it back, and I will get rid of paragraph three. We're not going to do a third paragraph. So then we have the reviews. So I need the reviewer name, one, review paragraph, review paragraph one, and review date. That's all we're going to do in this case for in terms of what we can learn about it. So we go down here, and we've got some reviews by um, reviewers. So let's take a couple of these. So I'll start with uh, Don McKellar from the Village Voice. And once again, there's a lot of microdata you can take about, about any of these things. You can take the critic score, the critic where he's from, the URL, the full review. We're just touching the surface on this to give you a sense of how this works and how it's done properly. So the reviewer name goes here. You'll notice how I tag these things with certain headings, H2 for subheadings and, and the, um, the reviewer name that made H3. So I go back here and I pick out, I'm just going to kind of, where is it, there it is. Just grab this tiny little snippet of a review in this case. And that goes here. And then finally the review date, which is at the end of the line there. And that would be, let's see, just going to kind of grab this here. June 4th, 2007. So the review was done sometime later. Oh, got too much there. So I'll pause and put these in the other review and then come back. Okay, I've added the two reviewers, their comments, and the date. So now I have my completed uh, page here. Uh, so the last thing to do is insert the meta description up here. Uh, so I'm just going to go back to my page. And here's a little synopsis up here. I think that reads pretty well in terms of SEO as a uh, as a um, meta description. So I just replace the text word in those brackets. I'm just going to quickly save it. It'll be pretty easy. I'll just call it ET page. Save it in the desktop in this case. So now I'm going to switch over. If we go back um, to my our instructions, I'm going to open the Secure Structured Data Markup Helper. But before you do that, if you want to make sure the page looks all right, you could just go here and we'll just open the page, open file. And that's what it should look like in terms of new movie you use. No styles, because remember, search engines don't care about styles. That's basically it. OK, so now I'm going to go back to um, Structured Data Markup Helper. Okay, stay there for a moment. Go back here. Now, what I can do, I saved it to keep a backup of this in case I mess up. But I can just grab. I'm just going to grab all this text, Command All, copy it all, and then I go to this Markup Helper. And in this case, it's a website. Okay. I'm looking for the, the it's going to help us with the structured markup, the microdata for movies. I'm not plugging a URL in. I'm plugging original HTML. So I just paste the HTML from what I just did. And then I click Start Tagging. So what it does is shows me a little preview screen of the left, what it looks like. It looks just like our, you know, our test a minute ago. So then I start, I start, um, uh, selecting things which I want to tag with microdata. So that's the title. In this case, it's the name. And I select 1982. In that case, it's the year. One hour, 40 minutes, 54 minutes. Now in this case, there is nothing for duration. We're going to add that ourselves manually later, so leave that off for now. Credits, you just select the name. You don't show the director, because here it has director. Here's the rating, 98%. It's the aggregate rating as a rating value. And the count, OK, we're not doing best or worst. We're just doing those two. And then we have our cast. So that would be an actor. And I do each of these. Now, if you look on the right side of the screen, you can see as I tag each of these, they show up 
uh, what are the data items for this piece gives you a sense that you're doing it properly okay we don't have a description but down in reviewers start with the reviewer we have under uh, am I going to see this okay let me just drag this up a little bit can't see the bottom of that okay, let me pause and get this in the screen can okay, make the screen a little smaller the viewer window so I can grab this and see what we're choosing so Don pick up the name it's a review and it's a reviewer and we pick the reviewer review body is what they're calling that and actually the review date I shouldn't have grabbed that I'm going to grab that separately try to hear come on there we go and that's the review date and date time we'll just say date I think it'll select it properly and there you have it there let's do the next one so again review reviewer reviewer body review date okay so we've tagged as much as we can using the markup helper um, so I'm not seeing the review body here so let me just pause and get that fixed hold on okay what happened was when I selected the review uh, blurb and the date at the same time and then when I bat went back and selected the date it unselected and untagged the description so I just grabbed it again and said um, that it was a review body and there it is over there okay now that all those things are in I'm going to create HTML so I click this button and now it shows us once again what it looks like in this tag but it shows us the HTML here and the important thing to remember is that this code we could have coded completely by hand. This helper is just tagging stuff for us to make it e to show you how it works and make it kind of easy. It's a helper, um, but there are also systems that will do this tagging automatically uh, for big systems and websites and so forth. So really, we but uh, in order to save time and make it a little more efficient, I found this helper to to kind of take us through the process. So it's taken our original HTML. And it's it's um, it's added the tags for the microdata markup. Okay. Now, if you you could add this back into your HTML on your source, but in this case, we're just going to use this right here to see what happens. So I'm going to down you can download it, just so you have it. There it is uh, as a backup. In this case, all I have to do is Command A or select all, copy it. Now I'm going to go back to my text editor and take a look at it. Okay, now I'm going to make a new page here. New text document. I'm just going to copy that in. Okay, now if you want, you can go back between the two and see what it did, what it added to add the data types. It's going to display exactly the same as far as HTML is concerned, but it will read these data, these um, data properties, these item types, in the appropriate places in the very search engines in terms of displaying the little catalog entries and so forth and and these these pieces of things that are displayed on catalogs and google in search returns are known as rich snippets it's a term that's that's used rich snippets see under actor item prop actor the item scope it also gives the schema so those are schema you're referring to there are others out there but this is pretty much a standard one now that HTML5 will endorse okay uh, and then we can test that so what I'm going to do is grab I'm going to select the whole thing go back here go back to our instructions and I'm going to click the structured data testing tool once again I don't have a URL I have the markup I paste that there, preview, and there you have it. It's showing what it would look like. Now, it, in this case, because we're not on a server and it doesn't know how to grab things appropriately, it's not showing their URL, um, but it's showing the rating, 97 votes. It shares where the excerpt would be. More importantly, more importantly, it's showing us what the extracted structure data is. Just, if you just go down this and make sure that everything is, is where it should be, the name, 
No, I didn't put the uh, date published in properly. So for extra credit, you go back in and put the date in properly so it reads correctly here. The director, item one, is Steven Spielberg. Now, what it does is here is it's, it's sort of aggregating all these actors. It says actors, item three, item four. So then you go down and you see that item one, item two is three. Here's an actor, 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 actor. Item eight is the property. So author, item 10, author here. These are the reviews now. See, it's got the right schema. Schema.review. And here we have the um, item 10. This is the author's item 10. Item 9, the description. Author's item 11. Now, the reason they break these items apart is that because, you know, a author might be authoring more than one review. So that way, you know, it becomes a, it can be a one-to-many relationship. So it takes a little used to getting used to, but in any case, it will, it will read properly and present properly when you use a, um, when a, a um, search engine looks at this and prepares the um, rich snippet. That's where, that's what it pulls out is the rich snippet. Okay, so now we're missing a couple things, which are uh, which we put in and aren't here because it only reads the things you put in. Remember, where's the duration? So let's stop right now and I'll set that up. I'll pause now and I'll set that up. Okay, I'm going to um, put the item prop property around the duration here. So I'm just going to look at one of the others and just copy what it does and um, uh, to do that. So I'll, I'll borrow this one from um, the uh, from the names. First I have to tell what schema we're using. So I'm going to put that right here using a span tag, span, span element. And then there's the item prop I can put inside the p tag which is this. Okay. In this case the item proper name is duration. that and that's basically it then of course I have to close the spam tag otherwise it's going to think the whole page is the duration and that will not be good that's that so let's test it again so I grab oops uh, so I grab command all copy it go back to my um, testing tool I'm just going to reload to get rid of what's in there okay That HTML in there, copy it in. If I scroll down now after I published it in, and there's a duration, one hour, 54 minutes. So that worked. So now that's it. I basically created, here's my, you know, that's how you create, it's how you mark up the data to, in order to create a rich snippet. All you have to do for me to hand this in is to save this file the name of your movie and just submit it with the um, it's my second one so I'll call it ET2 save that and submit it for the assignment and that's it that's how it works thanks so much